2024 shaping up to be a big year on the ballot. And although the presidential race has pretty much been set at this point, there are still a number of local elections that mean a lot this spring. The polls are already open in a way, with early voting running through 6 p.m. Sunday and then reopening at 7 a.m. Tuesday for Election Day. The first election cycle is also important for Orange County's newly appointed supervisor of elections, Glenn Gilzine. He is the first new supervisor in more than three decades after his predecessor, Bill Kells, decided to retire earlier this year. Gilzine spoke with News 6 investigator Mike Holfeld, who told him he wants to eliminate any doubt of accuracy by live streaming the ballot counting process. Those are the little things that I believe won't cost us anything, but it will add added transparency and give every Orange County citizen an opportunity to see how their vote is counted. And tonight we're getting a first-hand look at how that process will work. The Orange County Elections Office ran a test of the live streaming feed and New 6 investigator Mike Holfeld takes us behind the scenes in a story you'll only see on 6. So if you go to the ocfelections.gov website and you click on ballot processing live stream. Fill in your name, address, and email. Submit and you're in. Just like that. Just like that. Welcome to live stream on orangecountyfloridaofelections.com. And what are we watching right now? Right now we're watching all the ballots being processed. The technology has always been there. When the chairs were full, overflow crowds could observe Orange County's mail-in ballot count from monitors in the Supervisor of Elections building. Well now, transparency is going live stream, coast to coast. I think we are probably the first county in the state that has this system, a live streaming system. Daniel Reese is the Chief Information Officer for Orange County's Supervisor of Elections Office. We met with him on Thursday as the live stream experiment made its unofficial debut. Right now we are processing the vote by mail ballots, you know, but at some point we're going to start processing the early voting ballots as well and the election day ballots. So every single ballot that gets cast will go through this room and will get tabulated and processed through the high-speed machines. Glenn Gilzean, the newly appointed Orange County Supervisor of Elections, is behind this high-tech transparency project. The true intent is just to show that our elections are safe. When an Orange County citizen votes, their vote is counted. And more importantly, there's transparency. So far, so good? Yes, sir. So this is what you'll see on your smartphone, computer, you name it. Live stream, accuracy, transparency. No questions asked. What's going on behind us here? Right now, it's the process of opening and taking out the ballots. Judge Jeanette Bigney is the chair of the Orange County Supervisor of Elections Canvassing Board. Three members, three alternates, always observing the process and maintaining accuracy. The staff goes through the ballots first. Any discrepancies or questions go to the canvassing board. The privacy remains, but you're able to see in real time what's going on. Correct. So That's my understanding. You feel comfortable with that? Um, it's new, um, and with anything, there, there might be issues, but we'll see how this rolls out. So remember, March 19th, the dress rehearsal begins. Sign up, observe, and be part of the process. Mike Holfeld, getting results, News 6.